his true feelings for you and your connection and all of those things. What are his true feelings at the moment? What's going on? Bit of an energy check. Um, if you claim the reading, let me know. These readings for who needs them, when they need them, the universe brought you here for a reason. It's up to you to claim the reading that is for you and leave the readings that aren't for you for the people that they're for. If you claim the reading, put a like on it. You'll see that you've liked it. I'll see that someone somewhere has claimed it. That's all I ask for in return. So, his true feelings for you. What's going on? We're going to start with the Raven's Prophecy deck. And then we'll layer up the reading and take it from there. I want to know. I want to know. How's he feeling? What's going on? So it's just itched my nose. <laughs> I'm going to split the deck into four, four elements, four seasons. So... Oh, just lost track. Is this person like really distracting? Like every time you try and have a conversation with them, they like distract you, overshare. <laughs> so for elements, for seasons, most importantly for angels offering us a circle of protection. Been drawn towards this one. Quite tempted to reshuffle, but I'm not going to let them distract me that much. Are they just really distracting? You know, like every time you try and have a serious discussion, they're getting a bit of a joke and making you laugh. King of Cups reversed. So when the King of Cups is reversed, someone who's quite cool, calm, collected, they're either hiding their feelings or they're not being completely honest with how they feel. Um, we'll, we'll pull more cards and see where that is. It can just be someone that's quite shy. And it can be, you know, uh, some people will use jokes and, and things to lighten the mood, to hide something. And it can be something really innocent. It can be, you know, a humorous way of self-preservation. If they joke about it, they don't have to let you in. And if they don't let you in, you can't break their heart. It could be like that, you know. Um, but it's, it feels like they're very distracting um, hmm. Let's see what else comes out. We have the page of wands reversed, which is someone who can sometimes be a little bit shallow. So the page of wands to me is a very loyal card. It's like those teenage loyal feelings. We're loyal to our friends, we're loyal to our family. Certain people we're not loyal to. But sometimes when the page of wands come out reversed, it's someone that's either needing to be selfish. Or they're loyal to themselves. But there may be a reason for it. They may... I'm kind of... You know, like... Some people put this... Some people have a really hard shell. And you have to really get to know them to find the soft centre. It's almost like this person keeps everyone at arm's length by distracting, laughing, choking. Because they're scared of letting anyone, anyone in. And sometimes it can come across like they've got a massive ego or they're a bit of a show-off and and all of these things and they're a bit shallow and they're a bit selfish but it's almost like they don't want to let someone in they don't want to let people in because that's scary because what if they let them in and what if they let you in truly let you in and you see the truth them and then you don't like that person that's a big risk for them you know that's a crushing of their confidence but it does sometimes come I think sometimes people can take this person the wrong way like oh they're egomaniac they only care about themselves I don't think it's that I think there's a deeper level here there's a deeper deeper level here with them sometimes it is sometimes it is all of those things but with this I'm not picking up that and I would say if I was, the moon, inner fears. Inner fears worry, stress. They're scared of something. They're scared of letting people in. Their true feelings, they're terrified. They don't want you to know that. They're scared that there's something about them that you're not going to like. So they're, they're the joker. Laughing about it, they make you laugh. They'll make you smile. They don't want to talk about anything too serious. Because what if you talk about the serious things and then you decide you don't like them? That's that's their pride injured. That's, yes. Someone that comes across quite 
selfish. But that's not it. That's not them. Pretty sure you see a side to them that their friends don't know exist. So, Ten of Cups reversed. That may be why they are the way they are. The Ten of Cups reversed is unhappy family, storminess. Um, they could be a commitment phobe. Uh, is that a 90s term? <laughs> like, they're scared of commitment. And it may come from what they've learnt growing up. Um, the Ten of Cups is meant to be about long, happy unions, family tensions being resolved, all of those things. But it feels like if you let people close, maybe, maybe, maybe when they were growing up, the two people that were meant to love each other behind closed doors said the horriblest things to each other. It's like a sign of weakness, isn't it? You, you let someone that close and then they can use it against you. That's what I'm picking up from this. Yeah. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot, isn't it? So the Six of Swords, they're trying to move to a better future. The Six of Swords is all about, you know, travelling light, moving forward. And they are trying to move forward it, forward it, forward with it. And they've connected with you. Their true feelings towards you is they're interested, scared, terrified. They don't want to repeat the patterns of the past. They are, I, don't, I don't think they've been in a relationship. I don't think they've been in a serious relationship where it was toxic. I think it was something that they witnessed when they were growing up. The place where they were meant to feel the safest. They saw people that were meant to love each other tear strips off each other. And that's scary. And it's almost like they've got all of this baggage. And they want to leave it behind. And they, they want to put it behind them so they can be more open with you. But opening up is terrifying. Because if they open up, then you're going to be the person that could hurt them the most. Interesting, isn't it? Empress. Yeah. Yeah, they're naturally drawn towards you. And um, their feelings towards you is they want to open up to you. They do. They're naturally drawn towards you. There's growth, there's potential, well-being, material world, planet of Venus. Um, but they're going to have to take a risk to fully open up. Because I think you need that. I think because they do laugh and joke and everything, you must think, oh, goodness, how do they actually really feel about me, though? Like, am I just a joke? You know, life, it seems like they're a massive joker and they're not, like, behind closed... Not even behind closed doors, but when they have those moments by themselves, they know who they are. And they're quite vulnerable and they're scared and they don't know how to do a relationship sometimes people say I don't know how to do it and it's just a massive cop-out with this person no 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 they they probably genuinely don't know how to do a relationship because the relationships around them that they saw were painful emotionally painful but they're drawn towards you whether you're male or female they're drawn towards you and it's landed underneath the moon it's like all of these inner fears, they're having to trust, they're having to learn to trust and they're having to learn to open up and they're kind of acknowledging them to themselves that they've got this massive load of baggage that they kind of don't know what to do with and you can't fix it for them, no one can fix it for them. But it may be that, you know, in the past whenever anyone's got this close, they've pushed them away. I don't feel like they want to push you away, they're just processing everything so the page of swords the seven of swords and the two of swords reversed it's going to be in a conflict for as long as they're connected with you there's going to be in a conflict for them uh, the page of swords is um 
having to break a promise or letting you down in some way. But when it's the right way up, it's a genuine thing. It's like, you know, you meet, you see your friend in the shop and you're like, yeah, we'll do lunch on Wednesday. Then you get home, look in your diary and think, why did I say that? I can't do Wednesday. And you genuinely want to have friends and you phone up straight away and you go, I just need to rearrange it. And you rearrange it and it's a date that you can do and you meet up and you have a really nice time. There may be something they let you down on that they kind of genuinely can't do it. And, um... They want to do it and they thought that they could do it and it's just a case of having to rearrange it and stuff like that. When the page of swords is reversed, it's kind of all of that, but they, when they made that promise, they knew they couldn't do it. But this is genuine. There's a genuine reason. So give them a second chance. <laughs> give them a second chance, you know. Uh, we have the Seven of Swords, which is my pension pot card. It's like doing things now that pays your future self um, and it's doing things like on the down low in secret so this person could well you know when when you're with them see a completely different side of them that other people wouldn't even know and you probably already had a have a glimpse of that because you like them even though they're a joker and that walls are up and sometimes they come across as quite arrogant and and all of this, but you know, you've seen, and you feel that other layer to them. But they don't want to tell anyone about it. It's their best kept secret, you know? Like, don't, don't tell anyone that I have feelings. Yeah. And then we've got the Two of Swords reversed, which is an inner conflict. And it's coming from the moon, the Empress. They're naturally drawn towards you, and they're quite scared by it, and it upsets their inner balance. Two of Swords to me is all about making choices from a point of an inner balance, something that makes sense. This is a whole process for them and it's quite a scary thing for them. How do they feel about you? How are their truest feelings for you? They're absolutely terrified because they like you. And that, that's that. Um, I'm going to do another layer of cards. Let's see what else we can find. See another depth of them, I think. You may have a hard time getting them to actually commit to things in general um, because they don't want to let you down and they know they've got a lot of baggage and they want a better life and they want to be around you and things, you know. The commitment's scary because of what they're seeing. So I'm going to split the deck into four. What other information? What does the cards have for us? Eight of Pentacles reversed. Yeah. They sometimes put their energy into the wrong thing. I think they've got bags and bags of energy and they put it into the wrong thing and they're they're distracting everyone and they need you need to work that energy off. You need to get in there and wear them out. Turn for a run. You know what I mean. Knight of Pentacles, you need some to slow down a little bit and make plans. Um, and they need to start working on the things that they need to work on so that they can actually be in a relationship. Because even if, like, because even if you're in a relationship with them at the moment, it kind of feels like part of them acts like they're not. And it's not that there's other people around. It's just that fear of, fear of it. Um... Queen of Pentacles, you're going to have to be very grounded in this. Uh, the moon. I quite often like describe the moon as, if you've been here before, you probably know, you'll be able to say it as I say it. But driving at night, you've got your headlights on, see the road straight in front of you. You have to have faith the rest of the road's there. And you have to ignore the monsters in the fields and the monsters in the forest and... And you have to know that the rest of the road's there and you have to drive safe and you have to be able to trust yourself that if something pops in the road that you can deal with it and, and things like that. Uh, but if we focus on the unknown within that journey, our journey will be full of hysteria, fear, stress, avoiding things. We'll probably stop the car and wait until daylight. All of these things, avoidance, kind of picking up that. And it's almost like you're the queen of pentacles, whether you're male or female, you're going to be the one that makes the decisions. 
because you come from a place of grounding you know that road's there you can walk it in the dark you can walk it blindfolded folded you've done that journey a million times you can auto drive it this person hasn't there's a lot in life that this person hasn't quite learned yet about emotional stuff and things and that would be to do with them growing up um and because they are a joker and they like to distract and they like to do all of these things, you have to be the anchor. You have to be like, hey, no, don't float off over there. You're trying to distract me. Let's keep on track. You're the one that has to keep on track, like the beginning of this reading. They would have been quite happy for none of these cards to land on this table. Because, you know, they're trying to distract things. You have to keep on track. You have to be like, no, this is this is what we're meant to be doing. And I don't mean, I don't see any friction to that. Like sometimes when you tell someone, no, this is what we're doing, they then like, you know, friction and argument. I don't see that. It's just you need to rein them in a bit sometimes. So the Knight of Wands reversed is going on the Ten of Cups reversed. And it's a stagnation, a frustration, um, I think they probably know that your connection is ready to move on to the next bit. But they're scared of doing that. And they're probably coming up with loads of excuses, loads of reasons. But they know. They do know. And you know. It's ready for the next bit. And because they are the joker, you must be thinking, they don't actually like me like that then. It's like you're waiting, I don't know, I don't know, there's something, it's like it needs to move forward and it's not. Uh, the Two of Pentacles reversed is a loss of focus and it's on the Six of Swords. You can send them to the supermarket and they'll get lost. And I don't mean lost, I mean sidetracked. <laughs> Do you know what, you should send them to the supermarket with a very short list and see the wild things that they come back with. If you haven't already done that, do that. Or they'd send you like a weird photo of them dressed in some, like in the UK, in our supermarkets, you can buy clothes. There's like all different sections. Like I could imagine them like sending you a photo of them in a onesie or something really crazy, you know, distractions all over the place. So anyway, yeah, the seven of pentacles reversed one of their inner fears is that you're going to abandon them because it's landed on the emperors and they're scared of being abandoned maybe in a, before they've pushed people away before they've had a chance to abandon them i'll push them away then they haven't walked away so then you know that was their choice there's a you got your hands full and if you're not grounded and confident within yourself, you could easily lose yourself with this type of relationship. So I'll just let I'll just tell you that and have a think about that. Um, Three of Pentacles. They may have said, we'll live together. And these three, these three cards are moving forward. They may say, yeah, we'll live together. We'll go on holiday somewhere. There's something that you need to do together. And it's landed on this, the page of swords, so it's kind of going to fall through. And you're going to think, oh, they didn't want to do it anyway. They did want to do it, and they meant to do it, but it just didn't work out at that point. It doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. Um, if you were meant to live together, meant to take a lease on together, it's just something, something's going to happen to stop to stop it from happening. It's just a hiccup doesn't mean they didn't want it even if they back out at the last minute give them a second chance if you can um if it's right for you make and also like make sure that this this type of relationship is right for you because it could drain your energy if it's not um yeah you have to be quite strict and you have to be quite firm <laughs> You know, you have to be very grounded and confident within this type of connection. And only you know, like, because some people, they may see this and they're like, I cannot be bothered with that. 
you know, but it's up to your choice. But there's some kind of combine and with the three of pentacles about combine and resources leading to success and teamwork and there's something they're going to pull out of it may just be a day it may just be a holiday day it may just be you know they're getting a new phone or or something or they've they've promised to get you something and, and it just falls through give them a second chance if it falls through a second time then mm -hmm, you know okay so this is nice They've come in as the page of wands reversed at the beginning. I'm losing in, in my hands. Um, we've got the seven of swords and they've got the page of wands. There's a lesson here that you're teaching them to be loyal to the right people. <clears throat> and it's like building a trust up between you both. Like if they show you a little bit of themselves, the inner self. And you don't tell everyone, and you, and it's like it's a bonding trust between the both of you. A little, it's almost like I can feel a, a little world that you both live in, and then there's the outside world. Is when you're both out in that world, they're a different type of person. And if that's the way it has to be, then that's the way it should be. As long as when they're in that little world with you, they're nice to you, and it's a loving, caring, loyal relationship if that in a world is toxic jump go you know it's not worth your time but you you'll know you'll know if it gets too toxic leave always leave no one is worth being unhappy or someone pulling away your confidence um but it's almost like there's a little protective bubble happy bubble for you and them to share that's no one else's business uh, they may even open up and tell you little things that start making sense about why they're the joker not the joker is in batman joker but the jester the joker the laugh the class clown the all of that um yeah Hmm, the lovers, that's very nice. If you can get this connect, if this connection works for you, it'll be lovely. Because you'll see the secret side of them and then the, the outside of them you share with the rest of the world. But you'll get to see a nice side of them, hopefully. No, a nice side to them. But what I'm saying is like, if when you're alone together in that, that isn't the nice side of them and it's quite a horrible side, run, you know. No one needs that. How do they feel? They're scared. They're really scared. They're going to have a, as time goes by, their loyalty towards you is going to grow. There's going to be something comes up that they can't do. They genuinely can't do it. So if you want to give them a second chance, give them a second chance. They see you as their lover. They have a lot of passion for you. They see you as the empress and they're convinced you're going to abandon them. If you need to abandon them, abandon them. Always do what is best for you. Because this is a handful. <laughs> this is a lot of energy. You have to make sure that this is the right thing for you. And only you know that. So I'm going to pull from the fairy oracle deck. So I think we need an oracle before we get our bubble of protection. So I'm going to split the deck into four. This person feels like a jumping bean. It feels like they're jumping all over the place. You know. So, wish wisely. Absolutely. Be careful what you wish for. Um, use your wishes wisely to manifest your heart's desire and take practical steps towards making your dreams come true. Absolutely. What I really want you to think about is if this really is a type of connection that you can thrive in, uh, because if this is a connection that just drains your energy, then have a think about what's right for you. But if you're like, yeah, I've got a challenge. We, we can do this. This sounds like fun. Go for it. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So I'm going to end reading here. I'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so that your angels can take you on your way. If you're still here, I'm pretty convinced that this is such a long reading that everyone's already gone. But if you're still here, you're now part of the Purple Heart Gang. Uh, 
you guys always stay to get your bubble of protection and I really appreciate it. Opening and closing of energy is so important to my rituals. I will see you soon.